Welcome to this tutorial video on basically how to edit a quick clip of a you know real estate video on CapCut. So let's jump into this. You can see in my screen now, and we're gonna jump into this. Start a new project, at the top of CapCut, you can click start a new project, and then you want to import in the video files that you want to use. So you jump in here, import. Um, we're going to go to new recent downloads, and we're gonna grab these two clips right here. And these are two clips that we're going to use for this edit. Now, I already identified that this one is the very first one. Um, I'm trying to see if I can turn down the volume. Off. That's all right. We'll be okay. This will be the first clip. You can just drag it into the timeline down the bottom here, and that will allow you to start cutting things up in the editor. And I know this clip is the second clip, so we're going to throw it in there. Okay. Um, and this is like kind of a walkthrough video. Okay, it does have this kind of like putting soul sticker on. So you could actually incorporate this into the video. But if you were to just um, do a kind of walk through the house, um, I understand that it's gonna start at this point. So we're using the timeline down the bottom here to see where we're gonna cut, okay? So we use that. We're gonna go something like maybe this, start point. And then we're gonna know that our tools down the bottom here is what lets us cut. So this is a clean cut, split, delete to the left. So you can actually quickly delete everything to the left or the right, or you can split, click, and just click the delete button on your keyboard. And then that will cut it right there. Okay, now we know that's the starting point. Now for this kind of video, I recommend speeding things through. So we, we can kind of do something a bit unique here, is that we're gonna be using this speed quite a bit. And as you can see in here, Customize, this is the kind of direction of the clip. It allows you to do curves and stuff like that. So we might click this on. And basically now we start going through. So we know that we may start the video off that it shows that. Yep, sold, cool, come on through. Okay, so from this point here, we're gonna add in a keyframe to basically manipulate the edit. So you can plus in here. Okay, and then you pull the speed up now. This way, come this way. Okay, so you can kind of do that. And then each time, like, how much of a note do you need? You know what I mean? You know, that's the door. So you're going to come there. And then to increase that speed is that, you know, that that's that. Then you grab this one and speed it up all the way across. Cross, speeding up, cool. Coming in, cool. That's good. Um, I can come in here and get this node and delete this node because we're gonna put in our own one. Go here, click the point we want, and then click to where we want. We got there, cool. That's the bit we keep. This is the bit we speed up. We keep moving through the clip like this. Okay, no, come through. Beautiful natural sunlight, look at that. You're not going to use the audio here, but that's was the clip. Um, add another node. This is cool there. That's the shot. And then we're going to jump to the next room. As is walking in, create another node here. And then we can speed up this clip. Boop. Speed up that section. Oh, look at that. That's the bedroom too. Cool. It's ripping up off a point there. I need fixes up the pillows, but maybe we'll kind of show the ensuite on this side. So we'll do that. Boom. And then push through. That's the bedroom too. <laughs> Come through. Click another point. Come on through. Um, I want to get rid of this node. I don't want the, the default nodes in there. But we do want to maybe come to this point, click that in, speed up that section. Come through. It's pretty good. Click the point, then find the next spot. We're going to come through. Yep, that's good there. Bring it forward. We keep running through this. So you're speeding through. Huge open plan, huge. That's it there. 
Might click another node right about there. Come across. We wanted to show the kitchen. So maybe we just bring it to there. Speed it up. Good plan, huge. It's in the kitchen. And again, maybe we want to speed past that bit. So just do a quick jump again. Big. And then we want to do another point. Get rid of this node as well. Speed it up to maybe this point here. Boom. Speed it up. through so we're going this point speeds up and next room nice, the backyard as well looks good now he did decide to sit down so we can add that in um, but maybe we'll just speed it up before that kind of comes together boom and a beautiful land for the backyard as well looks good and then that can speed up get a bit Ooh, of a shot yeah, nice. And we can keep coming through. We can zoom out a bit, but need to be that close. Um, change it open, maybe this point. Speed that up again. Oh yeah, nice. And then we can with this here because it's already outside. I'll, I'll show you a bit of a trick because we can use that. This point here is fast, and right to the end. And then at the end here, we do the same stuff, customize. We could come through and get rid of the nodes that are already there. Will help us. And then what we do is we maybe come to the point right to the point where we can add our first node. And then that is pushed to the clip here. But then with this bit, just speed that up. And what that will do is it will help with the transition of everything. The speed. This one speeds. He's a bit off. So I would really love this to be higher. So we can probably just increase that as much as we can. Nice. See, and then that kind of adds in. And I'm noticing in here is you can actually pull these up a bit higher than what it was allowing us. So that end one, you can try and just bring it as fast as possible. Let me bring that yeah Drive. make it transition a bit better if you're using the speed it helps a lot so we do have that kind of garage kind of showing yep to maybe that point we'll add our node then we'll find our next um, shop point which is probably here boom and we can speed that up okay Drive through access as well for more I'm not going to use the audio um, but this is a quick way to kind of get through a fully shot real estate video that you've shot and you can speed through it each room in this kind of format. Once you enter the room, you can click this node and then it can show space. So that's pretty good. Give that a speed up. As well for more space. Beautiful. It's shown for a bit, so let's add another node. Let's see how we can change a shot. Maybe, maybe him walking back through. About that. Hmm. I can actually show another little technique here. Um, can leave the speed on because you see how the camera kind of tilted and came back what you can do is while it's in motion find a point where it's similar so if you have a point here that's kind of similar to one pass we can kind of zoom in so I can kind of show you a bit better I can split it here right and I'm using this shed as a reference so as this other shot was kind of turned to the shed which is about here um, I can also cut okay and this shot here, I can delete it. You'll find that this will blow a lot better than what it did just a minute ago, okay? Because we're cutting over a point where in the video that's very similar. 
so you get a, a lot more um, an easier flow through transition and when you speed things up as you're noticing in this this point here um, this node is at this point and then a sped and then this node is sped as well to match back causes less motion this might be showing a little bit too much so we can come through again find a point of something of this nature speed that up again just for a few seconds as he has entered in and maybe we can conclude the video of something about nature we've, we've already gone through the whole house now maybe talk this yeah this is what Wait. stuff on the top boom and i might just um cut and call it the end of that clip and that's the video um what to do now is if you want to get rid of this sound you can rip that down to zero and you can actually come up here get some um, music um, you can go to like this TikTok or whatnot or wherever you want to go go to music um, and, and find something that, that suits you can give it a, a play and you know it's saying pro sounds you don't want pro sounds um, You'd find something if it doesn't say pro, it's not free. I'm trying to give it a play. Background music. Get something a bit more upbeat. Um, beats, potentially. These are free. So this one, you can drop that down. Now we have some music to kind of go with this. That's how you do it. That's, that's a quick video for you to, it's a quick video edit tutorial. I've had to put it eight properly video to kind of like shorten this song up so it finishes on that point if you wanted to kind of like end the audio at the end you can actually come in here um, you can use the volume you can add a keyframe here click that on uh, and you can actually just you know at the, at the end get that to go to zero and that will create it to drop down it actually has an automatic kind of feature built in to CapCut so if you wanted to fade out you just go like how those last few seconds, how much do you want to fade out? Last five seconds fade out. And that will do that for you anyway. So that last bit. That's a 0.6, sorry. If you want to do it, two second fade at the end. Start fading with two seconds to go down. That's it there. Just add in. If you wanted to add any sort of graphics or text or anything, you can add it in through here or the editor when you upload in Instagram, TikTok, etc. Um, you can actually put in um, overlays and stuff. So you could actually come in here, import in a graphics of some sort. Um, just trying to think if I have something to utilize to kind of show you this. Um, say this was your logo. Um, you can just come and drop it in over the top. And there you go like there and you can position it however you want to do it you know put it put it on the bottom corner the top or whatever you want to do but then that can you know be the duration of the whole thing and now you have that as an overlay and you can add things in like a you know transition um which is in the animation section again stuff mentioning premium you need to pay for but there's a lot of things that you could just like throw onto a clip to as you see, that will come in there into the clip like that. I'm showing the lines on it. See? 
and you can you can use whatever one you, you kind of want to do you can make it shaking Makes sense cool little effect to kind of add in your your image or something like that you know you can actually do it from the start of this same one um, click on the clip you want to use shake so right at the beginning that's how you do it um, small little effects there I hope that helps after you've done with the video click this export button on the top usually set the settings do pretty good job just so you have an idea of course you can name the video whatever you want and yeah you can complete and save it to wherever you want on your computer as well in my case the desktop is fine um, run a copyright check if there's any audio etc in the video you can run this check and we'll make sure they're not going to get flagged on social medias as well so yeah export it out it's usually pretty quick through CapCut and afterwards it will show you a preview of the video but yeah I hope you learned something today and that got you through your first CapCut edit doing a real estate walkthrough video I might do a few others if I find some more footage shot by you guys if not take care Hope you enjoyed it and learned something.